Uh, yeah, this is Dave from CheapBooks.com. I'm playing World of Tanks. Uh, the tank I am playing is a T110E5. It's an American Tier 10 heavy tank, and the map is Sand River. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do, because I'm slow, is I'm going to set up a sniping position over here. And I'm going to try to make an effort to um, shoot at any tanks that try to take that flag. We've got the camouflage nut, which is useful on this map. Wow, they are way behind. They didn't even try. We, didn't even them. we just took it right from them. They let us have it, and that happens sometimes. Okay, so I got at least one kill. Okay, so run out of targets. I gotta relocate. Although it looks like that one tank moved. Good. Okay, sometimes you have to do that. Sometimes uh, targets run out, although... Uh, it looks like we're about to deliver the flag. It's going to respawn. There's probably going to be a lot of tanks in the center area once again. There's the flag. Enemy armor is damaged. Aim right for that engine. Enemy armor is damaged. Not enough enemy targets. Enemy is hit. I'm gonna head for the repair area. Because we want to own that area. Got to get that guy out of there. Okay, I'm going to go in with the AMX 50B. I got one kill. My team has the flag. And based on what happened, I'm going to guess that based on what happened at the beginning of the game, the enemy didn't try to get the flag. I'm going to assume that maybe they don't really understand the concept very well. And so it might be an easy game for us. Target acquired. Can't hit that guy. The flag has respawned. Someone on our team picked it up. He does need to turn around. Make a run for the flag. Ready to fire. We're done for. Everyone get out. I never would have made it. There were too many tanks shooting at me. I thought I would kind of create some distance, go around the dune instead of trying to go over it. 
It didn't work. We're back in the T-110E5. I got three kills. Not a lot of tanks in the center area, so going to the sniping position won't make a big advantage. However, our team does have the flag. He's going to pass by in a moment. But I keep on trying to lock on to that guy. Okay, our teammate is going all over the place, but maybe he'll make it there eventually. Hit him a lot harder than he hit me. <coughs> okay, that was a T-110E5. Now we got the AMX-50B. He's going into battle next. Got three minutes left. We got a lot of tanks in the center area, so I'm just going to go up to a sniping position. The flag is all the way in the north. Nothing. Ready to fire. Permission to engage. Come on, buddy. Come on. Thermal storage is hit. We're lucky it didn't blow. Track hit. I'm going to head for the repair area. One of our tracks is damaged. Only got 62 hit points left. I'm probably not going to make it. I was gonna, I was gonna go down for safety, and then um, head to the repair area, because obviously they were defending the rear repair area. Okay, this is T110E5. Um, there's a lot of targets in the center. I'm gonna do the sniping position again. Missed them. So that's one of the disadvantages of not using the auto aim. You know, the tank moves and uh, you can't hit them. 
Max is damaged. Game over. <sighs> Tough battle. I was getting sniped by that guy. Had four kills. Got number one experience for the team. Number one for damage. Now, I'm curious. Am I getting... Um, more damage and more experience because of the T110E5. I usually play the AMX50B, however, this T110E5 I think is the reason why I'm getting more damage. Even though I had three kills with the other one. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, please post below.